Enter the second act, the land of the sweets. The Sugar Plum Fairy is the star of the Nutcracker. Meet homegrown sensation Taryn Mejia. Yeah, and find out why she is excited to play this iconic role and how she gets ready for the big scenes. How has it been such an honor to be this role? When you think about being a ballerina, every little girl says, I'm the Sugar Plum Fairy, and they put on tutus. And so to get to grow up and actually do the role is me getting to live out that dream. Living out that dream has to be amazing, but it is also exhausting, and these men and women are in such excellent shape, basically running a marathon dancing style. So how do you get ready for that? Each role is a little different. For Sugar Plum, I actually like to just rest my legs because there's a lot of cramping going on, especially in my calves. And so the more I'm standing and the more I'm working out, the harder it is for me to push. So with that role, I like to just calm everything down and the role slowly warms you up. For other parts like Rose, I like to get up and jog around a little bit before that one just because I need my heart rate up. And you're going through so many pairs of point shoes. How many exactly and how do you break a pair like that in? So this is a brand new pair and I, through the Nutcracker season, will go through about three or four a week. And these are over $100 a pair, so that is <laughs> quite, get, get pricey. quite the pricey uh, little hobby we have. But the, the nice thing about the company here is that they provide most of our shoes. And we get 65 a year, so at least those are provided for us. But we, I go through three or four a week during Nutcracker. During the normal season, I'll probably go through one or two a week. Okay. But every time I get a pair, I have to step and you hear that crunch. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Makes them nice and pliable, and then I can step on the toes and make them a little less hard for my feet. And I'll do this with each shoe, and then try and put them back. And did you have an exact place that you're doing that? Because that's where your foot arches at. I put it kind of where this little ballerina is. They have a nice little ballerina on our, on our shoe, and I put my heel right there. Other dancers like it in different places, but I, I like to break mine there. And then I just kind of bend them as much as I can. A brand new pair of shoes brand that she is putting shoes. really through the ringer. I um, am. One thing I wanted to touch on is mm -hmm. clearly you've got a shank in there that's going to support some of your weight, yes. but that's when you're going solo. It's also different when you're doing a pas de deux. How so? It is. Um, so on my own, I can be tired one day or I can feel off balance. Some days you just come in and you don't quite feel like you can find your center. And so on solos, I can, I can kind of fudge what I'm doing or I can change the timing just to fit how I feel that day. With a pas de deux, the guy is there, which is great for when you're off balance, but he needs me to be consistent because he's not a mind reader. So we work together and there is trust between the two of us, but he needs me to be as consistent as possible so he can anticipate every move. And Taryn was such a sweetheart there. She was yeah. telling me, I've got two little ones. They want to know when this is going to be on so they can watch. Oh, so cool. say hello to them. Um, I have seen the show yeah. in past years. It's phenomenal growing up in a dance family. It's one of those experiences I like to do every holiday season. Sure. Now, you were a ballerina. Did you uh, Did you ever get on the point shoes? Um, so I, I did do point shoes, but um, I think I was a little better at <laughs> other types of dance. That's pretty crazy. Yeah. Oh, well, hey, the show runs until December 23rd, every Thursday through Sunday during that time at the Kaufman Center.